It must feel so good he can finally say it. I'm John Hickenlooper. I'm running for president. So good that former Governor Hickenlooper just wants to keep saying it. I'm running for president because we need dreamers in Washington. We've known it for months. You've known it for months. He accidentally said it aloud back in November, then had to backpedal so he didn't break fundraising rules. He was in New Hampshire then. He likes that state a lot. Iowa, too. He's headed back there soon. But even after Hick taped his snazzy announcement video, which we've learned he did at the brewery in Red Rocks the day after President's Day, even after he made the video, he still could not say aloud the one thing he so badly wanted to say until today. I'm running for president. Hickenlooper launched his campaign for president with that video, which showcases the beauty of Colorado and also talks about the challenges he faced as governor. So let's put his big introduction to America to our truth test. No one can predict what happens after you become governor. That is true. Hey, you're stealing my bit. Sorry, back to the truth test. With the divided legislature, we got health care coverage for nearly 95% of all Coloradans. That's true, though it could use context. When Hickenlooper became governor in 2011, about 84% of Coloradans had health insurance. By 2017, 93.5% were insured. We brought environmentalists and oil and gas companies to the table to create the toughest methane emissions laws in the country. That too needs context. Colorado did strengthen oil and gas emissions rules. California has since instituted tougher rules. And Colorado's Democrats seem to have forgotten altogether about the Hickenlooper era rules while they try to push new regulation. It's been over 60 years since meaningful changes have been made to our oil and gas laws. Then we beat the NRA by enacting universal background checks and banning high capacity magazines. That's true. Though it's worth noting that three Senate Democrats lost their seats amid recalls over gun control and Republicans then took control of the state Senate. An abandoned warehouse in a forgotten corner of Denver became a successful group up. That's true and delicious. In the end, we didn't just build a restaurant. We created a whole neighborhood that never looked back. That's a stretch. Wincoop did not build Lodo, but... He said we, so if we means Wincoop and, oh, I don't know, Coors Field, then I guess we'll say he's safe.